Righto, it's been a tough week. Let's try and cheer ourselves and you up. It's time for good call, bad call. Kane with the new ball. So we're going to these times create opportunities for young players. <laughs> yeah. Kane, kick us off. To Caro. Caro has the new ball. Thank you. Go no, ahead, you know, Frio's captain's clip on the AFL CEO was fair. Good call, bad call. Bad call, Ebony Antonio. Gillan McLaughlin had a very tough decision to make. I feel sorry for Fremantle. They did finish top of their conference. They won more games than any other club. But making them Premier was not the right decision. And I know they were disappointed. I thought that was pretty tough. Yeah, the Premierships are the least of anyone's concern at the moment. Kane, to you. Port failed to fly the flag for Justin Westco Westhoff. Good it's call, Beckel. Re really good call, Hutch. Let's take a look at the vision. To the half. Met hard by Swallow. That is as ugly an incident as I've ever seen, and that is Meek from the Port Adelaide, his teammates, to support West Off. If there was crowds there, if that was at Adelaide Oval, they would remonstrate fiercely with that. I thought they let West Off down for not supporting him. Matthew Lloyd, are you ready? TJ's Today Show legacy lives on. Good call, bad call? Uh, bad call by you. Sensitive call, Carol. Let's take a look at how they introduced Eddie Maguire on the Today Show a couple of days ago. We couldn't believe it. With games played in front of empty stadiums, Sunday footy show host Eddie Maguire joins us now. Good morning to you, Eddie. <laughs> G'day, Alex. Good to see you, mate. Uh, he's an <laughs> inspiring host, TJ is. So, TJ, we love you, mate. Don't worry about that. Uh, to you, Hutchie. Mark Stevens provided the best footy entertainment, entertainment of the weekend. Good call, bad call. Good call. I think it cheered us all up on Friday night if you have Twitter call. Uh, Steve-O <laughs> is a lunatic Bulldog supporter. He's normally there in the press conference ready to go and ask the flattering questions of Bevo. He was stuck at home and he lost his marbles. Watching his beloved dog. You've got to love passion in our game. It's a great example. Uh, Kane, Ben Cousins. The Ben Cousins exclusive has been poorly timed. Good call, bad call. No, that's a bad call, Hutchie. This is a must-watch TV call. Ben Cousins sitting down with Basil Zemplis to do a tell-all interview. By Sunday night, I'll be sick of coronavirus and all things associated to it. I will not miss a second of this. You'll be on your own. Matthew Lloyd, <laughs> social distancing was in, was in play at Optus Stadium yesterday. Good call, bad call. That's a great call by you, Carol. I think they took the metre and a half for all the bits, too, literally the demons, because uh, I don't think they laid a glove on the West Coast Eagles here. I've never seen a goal like this. Jack Darling, who handballs the ball out in front of him, paddles it on. Liam Ryan just says, hey, how easy is footy? Is this Marsh Cup or a seriously game for points? So they did not lay a glove on them for about 200 metres there. Righto, Hachi. I know you were close to this because I think you at one point had a social, uh, sorry, uh, an endorsement with Brendan Goddard. But the question is, the rug has been pulled out from underneath Brendan Goddard. Good call, bad call. Now, this is a really unreasonable call from you. <laughs> now, your, your feathers are not that strong. Your old man's gone, <laughs> gone bald. You know, what you're referring to is this. Brendan Goddard looked a little different yesterday. He's gone, he, won, he once had a crack at the restoration. Now he's conceded defeat. And good on him. Sometimes you've got to man up to it. I've done it. You're about, you'll do it at some stage. <laughs> Leave him alone. Caro, the dogs failed their Friday night footy test. Good call, bad call? Good call. We know that the dogs had special meetings with the AFL last year, demanding more Friday night football, saying they played an exciting brand of footy. They were the most dis... Look, I know it is nothing in the scheme of things, but the dogs on Friday night with a big disappointment for mine over round one. Good call. <laughs>